Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some rainbow resin pieces. I have a holographic kind of rainbow effect butterfly silicone mold here and a round coaster mold. And we're going to pour these today and I'm actually going to be pouring them or turning them into sun catchers. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using this deep blue hyacinth pigment from Laura's Art Corner. I have a cup of about three ounces of clear and I just added a good pea size amount of the deep blue hyacinth. Mix that in really well and I'm just going to pour it into my molds here right around the perimeter of the mold and then I'm going to take clear resin and pour it in the center filling the mold up the rest of the way. I would say that this mold takes about three ounces and the butterfly mold takes about four ounces to fill up all the way. And I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. This project is so super simple and easy to do. I have made holographic molds like this on my channel before. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I show you how to make your own holographic resin molds, but I saw these molds on Instagram and I wanted to give them a try because it is really easy to use them. You don't have to make your own mold and it already has the holographic effect embedded in the silicone mold, which is nice. I'll link these molds down below if you want to check them out. So I went in with my heat gun on low just to pop bubbles and now I'm going in with a silicone paintbrush. The bubbles really like to cling to these molds um, because the bottom of the mold is textured. So you're going to get some bubbles that really are clinging down there. So you want to make sure you carefully get all the bubbles out. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun once more on low and let it dry overnight. And here we are ready to demold it. Here's how the coaster turned out. Super cool holographic effect on it. And for these, you can't top coat them. If you do top coat them, the holographic rainbow effect will go away. So just keep that in mind um, when you're making pieces like this. You can't do a top coat because this fun holographic effect will go away. And I did mix up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how I mix my resin, check out a video I made last week, Snowflake Ornament Tutorial. I'll link it down below. I show you step-by-step -step how I mix my resin. So here's how the butterfly turned out. I was really excited to pop this one out of the mold because I just love the shape of it. It's about five inches in diameter and the coaster I would say is a little under four inches in diameter. And I want to say this mold was $25 and the coaster mold was around um, $20. So it is a fun, easy way to get this holographic effect on your resin pieces, um, but you can also DIY them and make the molds yourself. So be sure to check out my tutorial showing how to do that if you haven't seen that video. And I wanted to show you really quickly how I turn these into sun catchers. You can take some eye screws. You can get these ones off Shop Resin Molds website. I take my little handheld drill, drill a pilot hole, and I honestly go in two times with my little drill here, and then I screw in the eye screw. And that's it. Super simple and easy to do. I install one at the top one at the bottom, and then I go in with some glass crystal beads that I picked up off Amazon and I attach those to the top and the bottom of the piece. So then you're left with this gorgeous sun catcher. And check out all the fun little rainbow prisms that those crystal beads throw. Super pretty. These crystal beads are meant to be for a chandelier, but they work really well for this project because they already have the jump rings on there. So it comes in one piece, and what I do is just take about two or three of the round pieces along with the teardrop, um, you know, take it apart from the strand, attach that to the bottom, and then attach the strand to the top. Super easy to do since all the jump rings are already attached and assembled. Um, so I'll link these crystal bead or crystal chandelier beads down below from Amazon. I love using them. I use them also on my resin crescent moons that I make. 
And I am going to be listing these two sun catchers in my Etsy shop. So definitely check out my Etsy shop. I'll link it down below in the description box. I'm going to have these two pieces listed for sale. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments and which one's your favorite. If you like the butterfly or the round one better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys!